I'm here on Tennessee Avenue and witnesses tell me that as you can see here, it's still a very active scene, but witnesses say about 10 or 11 o'clock last night. This is when the scene started beginning more full. Now we just got off the phone with the FBI and they tell News Channel 5 they cannot confirm or deny that a suspect is in custody. But if you just look right here, you can see multiple agencies are still investigating along the street. It is hour 12 here at the Children's Miracle Network Media Thon and we have been here all day raising money for our local children. All the money raised here today is going to stay in central Louisiana to help kids. There are some of the public documents that we obtained through records requests. Now it paints a time gap between the time the original arrest warrant was filed by another officer, Corporal Hugh Lee, on August 2nd, 2019, and when Dotson was arrested. Let's take a look at this debris right here. Now, believe it or not, this is actually the roof here from that softball Bill's locker room said healthcare providers are overwhelmed, especially in rural areas of the state, not only for COVID patients, but for everyone. In Southeast Louisiana, Acadian Ambulance says they have nowhere to take patients anymore with a 20% increase in just their runs, not counting calls when they have no other option but to refer people to their normal doctors. Key news from overnight, the FBI is investigating a shooting at the Pineville Sleep In Hotel where a suspect was killed and an FBI agent was injured. Now, many of you were asking us what was happening at the hotel. It's located on Monroe Highway in Kingsville, but many still died after taking it, while some who did not survived. Now, was it risky to use such a controversial drug? And good Monday morning at 6 o'clock. Thanks for waking up with us. I'm Javante Thomas. We're talking about rain and storms. First up this morning, let's send it over to Rachel Penton and the First Alert Storm Center. Let's look at some of the damages that we saw yesterday. You can see lots of debris everywhere just littered across roads and streets. And state senators have started advancing a bill that would strip Louisiana's requirement that gun owners must carry a permit to carry concealed firearms. A Senate Judiciary Committee narrowly backed the proposal by Republican Senator Jay Morris. With cat men described as less masculine, neurotic, agreeable, and less dateable. I actually have to disagree with this and actually <laughs> have a photo of me and my cat. That's Tobias. That's oh, one of my two look cats. At that. I mean, come on now. I've dated more people than Taylor Swift, so I disagree. <laughs> you can get as many Ooh. dates as you want if you have a cat. All right, between the smile and the cat, I mean, hard to resist there. <laughs> And it's a good idea to keep an eye on your mailbox right now. The state's Treasury Department mailed out more than $4 million worth of checks to those of you who are owed money. This all comes from those unclaimed property funds. Now I'm here on Isabella Drive where they rescued several families. And if you take a look right there, you can see that sign. It says High Water Road Close. Now this road will be closed for quite some time until this water recedes. Now when I spoke to firefighters, they say Hurricane Delta brought flooding they've never seen before in Rapids Parish. The water uh, rose really, really quick. We got 15 inches in, what, two, uh, two days. Flooded homes and knee-high water. Hurricane Delta left its mark in Rapids Parish. Delta is by far the worst for water-wise. Uh, now, Laura was the wind. Uh, this was just a lot of water really quick. Six weeks after one of Louisiana's most destructive hurricanes, first responders went back to the front lines. You have to calm yourself down because you want to rush in, whereas, you know, firefighters normally rush into a house fire. We have to stop. We launch a boat. We either, if we can run the motor, we run the motor. If not, we walk to the house, uh, put the patients or push the victims into the boats, and then we, you know, wait, make our way out. These are photos of some of the residents fire crews rescued. As we wait for water to recede. Fire officials are focusing on keeping people safe after Delta from generator safety to road conditions. Safety first. That's the message after Hurricane Delta. And I want to take a look at this. This is why it's so dangerous to drive on those flooded roads. This is some of the debris that I found scattered in this flood water. Now, just imagine actually running over this. This could possibly puncture your tire. So again, this is why fire crews are saying, hey, stay off the roads, take it slow and just be safe.